There's wisdom there in the water that flows. It cuts through the hills, lets the beauty show. I gotta let go and let that old river carry me away. People say that for me, that old river is just fantasy. Close your eyes. Hey folks, yeah, old and I here. We're up into the the cornfield today. Yeah, I've been feeling a little under the weather. I'm getting a minor cold. Yeah, just kind of dragging me down. But figured I'd try to get out today, get a little air, fresh air in me, and we've got ourselves something green and slender right there. Figured uh, we'd check it out together. And it's a grommet, really. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I mean, we found Indians and buttons up here. So, I mean, I guess grommet's going to be here, too. All right. going to keep hunting on for a little while until I can not stand it anymore. And then we'll go from there. Well, folks, yeah, this field is a slow field. It's a big field. <laughs> I picked up, I don't know how many hot rocks, chunks of uh, melted aluminum and stuff. Finally came across something somewhat decent here. I think we have ourselves a flat button. It's a little rough on the front, but I still got the shank. Ooh, that wind's blowing today. All right, well, we're heading back towards the car, so I'll get you guys back if I find anything else between here and there. All right, on to the next. All right, folks, yeah, this might be junk. It might not be. It's green. Um, I did just pick a rusty nail out of here. I still had a tone down here a ways. Oh, what do you think we got? I think we might have ourselves a largey. I don't know. Oh, that's something different. That's definitely something different. Hey, so I'm going to have to get it back to the house. I'm not going to mess with it too much here. Oh, go cool find. Yeah, that that uh, little rusty nail was kind of blocking it, but I still had this down real deep. All right, cool deal. Okay, keep heading back towards the car. Forget anything, I'll get you back on. Hey, folks. Yeah, Dave Digger back. I'm um, down behind Bob's again. Uh, my, some of my favorite hunting grounds right up and through here. Um... I've been down here a few times over the last few months here, and I missed this, which is very easy to do. I'm not sure what it is yet. And it looks like the trigger to an old toy gun. Wouldn't I like to find the rest of that? Now, well, cool little piece though. Yeah, I tried to put my hands in the water a little bit, and you know, we're still in April, and that water's still freezing, so. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit. Um, I think I might have some waders coming in for my birthday. So that will be cool. Be able to get back out as soon as um, it's tolerable. All right. We're going to hunt along. We'll probably move our way down through here and everywhere else that we can. And see what else we can find. All right. Catch you on the next one. All right. Well, we're going through these uh, old crevices here. This has a screw on this end and threads anyways and it's kind of open-ended kind of closed i don't know what that would have gone to an interesting piece but i think i might have eyeballed a bag seal here oh yeah it is and i don't have one of them i'm not even sure which one it would be mw company star yeah, nice old piece all right yeah, you got to pick up all the little chunks of lead. I've already picked up a bunch, but, you know, they ring up like these. All right, we're going to keep heading on. All righty, folks, I think i got a few things down here. Well, at least something. I'm going to take uh, all of this scrap metal out of here. And I see something laying right there. Oh, I think that might be an old key. I 
that's what I saw. Old GM key. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, it's an oldie. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep pottering through all these little ledges and spots here. And there could definitely be um, all kinds of things in here. All right, on to the next. All right, folks, yeah, right over in those cracks there, I had just a faint little tone, but this is the tiniest pin I think I've ever come across. You can see where it would have been attached there. Oh, cool little piece, and I just saw a little color of green right here. I think we're going to have ourselves a penny. Yeah, definitely a penny. Uh, let me get that in the pocket. And we got ourselves another Indian head. Yeah, um, I was told, uh, you know, mention this in my videos, and um, I've, I've found, I don't know, I'd have to say 30 plus. Oh, groundhog trying to get up that wall right there. Can you see him? Stealthy little buggers. Um, I was told by a local man that somebody had stole a bag of pennies a long time ago and threw them down over the bridge. Now, I have found, like I said, 30 plus Indians, um, a bunch of Wheaties and everything else down in here. Um, so, yeah, this definitely could have been from that hoard. I think it's a 1903. Oh, cool little piece. Add it to the collection. Yeah, I want to get over in that corner over there. <laughs> if the water weren't so darn cold, I don't know, I might be able to survive it for a few minutes uh, to get over there. My feet are going to get soaked up. Um, I might scour around in these little piles here for a little bit and work up some courage to get in there. Um, yeah, it'd probably take, you know, maybe a minute to get from there over to that side, but um, all those bricks over there, that's where the old uh, opera house used to stand, where that white building is up there. And when it burned down, all that stuff got pushed down, plus the Barrow store and the I mean, uh, McNaughton store and Barrow's printing shop used to overhang that um, footing over the hair. When that caught on fire, that took both of those buildings. So that's why I find so many print plates down in through here and stuff, um, amongst other things. But, all right, uh, yeah, we'll hunt around. I'll get you back on if I find anything cool. Um, we'll go from there. All right, catch you on the next one. Hey folks, yeah, next find here, we've got ourselves a fishing lure. Um, people locally want to come down and get fishing lures when this river goes down all through these ledges. They're just stuck in everywhere. Oh, cool little find. We'll keep uh, heading on, see what else we can pull out. Alright folks, I could hear a little high tone down in here and when I was scooping it out, I got myself another penny. And it looks like we got ourselves another Indian head. Sweet deal. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I can get a date off this one. 1902. Well, we got an 02 and an 03 so far. That my blind eyes can see. So it could be different. All right. We're going to keep hunting on. Hey, folks. I was just kicking my feet around here. Moving some of this topsoil stuff. Yeah, we got ourselves a... Nice little, uh, yeah, male padlock. I'm going to say that's going to be, that probably says RFD on the back, which means rural free delivery. Um, I've got one of these at the house. I've been trying to get to my daughter. Um, she keeps on coming over and forgetting about it. She works for the post office, so she thought it was kind of neat. It's got a little bit of the chain left on it. All right, cool, cool. Um, can keep hunting on, see what else we can eyeball. I've got the machine turned off at this point too. It's just too much metal in here. So just kind of scraping stuff away. All right, on to the next. All right, folks. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of finds down here. Um, I do have this here. I am not sure, but I'm thinking this might be like a one of those uh, old tea. Uh, old things to put your tea bags in and put them in your cup. No, it's a little sifter. Ain't that cool? Alright, well, no big finds. 
Um, I'm working my way back. I'm going to head down through and see what else we get. Um, the things are pretty sparse in here <laughs> after I've hit it so many times. So we'll see if we can find anything else. All right, on to the next. All right, folks. Yeah, I just found this little bottle here. It was sitting right, right down in here on its side. Uh, I believe it says John Weymouth and Brothers, Philadelphia, or it just says Phila, but Philadelphia. Oh, cool. We'll look him up when we get home. All right, I'm going to keep heading that direction. See what else we get. Hey, good morning, all. Yeah, Dave Digger here. Um, down in this little cove where I found the real and that uh, Chinese token, water's going down nicely right now. So I'm going to kind of skirt right down along the water's edge today and uh, we'll work this area out some more. I know there's uh, stuff I missed. So, all right, I'll get you guys on in the first find. Hey folks, yeah, these are the caves I was uh, telling you about there the last time I was down here, but it was too, uh, it was, uh, yeah, water's too high to get up in here at the time, but yeah, this is wearing out, it's about halfway between the edge of the, oh, this guy's lawn up here in his house, and it goes back, I'm just gonna sw uh, swing the coil in here real quick, make sure no coins or anything got trapped in here, I just did find a uh, tire stem valve, so, yeah, well, search it real quick and then we'll probably head back where we were hunting all right cool cool all right folks yeah this is outside the cave here um uh, yeah you can see where this is just getting eroded away and it will um not all by floods but more by ice when it gets in here it's going to freeze and expand and it's just shredding this stuff coming down but i've got all kinds of iron in through here so i'm gonna scope around here for a second or two i did just spot this one this was laying in this little aisle here, but, oh, probably at least a 50 cal. No. All right, I'll hunt around, see what we get. All right, folks, yeah, I think we got ourselves a giant hemweight here. That's a big one. Now, what else do I see down in here? Been finding a lot of lead down in here today. Yeah, just a little odds and ends here. And we'll just keep going through it. Get you back on if you find anything interesting. Alrighty then. Yeah, today is brought to you by the letter M. <laughs> yeah, it's right down in that, in that little hole there. Um, yeah, good little find. I think it's brass. I found a few different letters and numbers over the years. So, all right, cool, cool. I'm gonna keep scouring this along. Catch you on the next one. All right, folks. Yeah, next little find here. We got a self-sufficient lure. This one still has all the hooks on it. Real good condition. So, almost like brand new. All right, I'm gonna stick it in the pocket. Keep heading on. All right, folks. Yeah, I had a mid fifties tone right down here, and I'm thinking it's gonna be a button. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's got a pretty pattern on it. Oh, clean this off here. Yeah, nice basket weave type pattern. I found a few of those over the years. No, oh, nice little button. Hefty, too. Alright. Well, we're getting into more of the relic area, so hopefully some more finds will be coming up because I've picked up nothing but junk. Alright, keep hunting on. All right, folks, yeah, finds are still uh, not a lot, but I did just give myself this nice little spoon, nice and sturdy. Um, Got to put something on film here. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of junk, but I'm cleaning the area up, uh, you know, the best I can. I've got a bunch of lead in there and stuff, so we'll keep hunting around. It's a lot to hunt through, so catch you on the next one. All right, folks, yeah, I'm up at the cornfield here with Odin. Yeah, I'm just walking around a little bit. Got my first tone here. Looks like we have a little buckle. Yeah, found quite a few of these in the, well, not just this size, but a bunch of buckles in this field. All right, I'm just gonna keep walking randomly through here and see what else we might pick up. All right, on to the next. All righty, folks. Yeah, next little find here. We got ourselves a little Croto Bell. Sweet deal. I still have the, the dinger in there. 
All right. Awesome, awesome. Keep hunting around. Yeah, um, they're probably going to be planting this field not too long off. Uh, we're having an early spring this year, so I can imagine they want to get stuff plugged in in here. So, do it while I can. All right, catch you on the next one. Oh, oh, he's getting a little tired. Yeah, I just had a nice 60s tone. I don't know what this is yet. I didn't want to break it out. Oh, that's what it is. It's just a spoon. Saw some metal curled up there. I wanted to get it on camera. Oh, well. Yeah. We're heading back to the car. Odin can't wait, so <laughs> I know he's puckered out for today. All right. Head that way. Alrighty, folks, just on the way back to the car there. Looks like we got ourselves a little weedy. Just want to show him the date. We'll have to check that out when we get back to the house. Alright, we'll keep heading back.